AMD is looking to refresh three of its third-gen Ryzen processors and there has been a ton of leaks on this lately and I actually made a video a few days ago covering most of the basics. We're essentially looking at three processors guys. We got the 3600, the 3800 and the 3900 all with XT at the end. So what is new here? Well as for core and thread count that remains the same and what AMD has done is basically bumped up the clock speeds a bit and according to the latest leaks we should expect to see a sweetie increase of 2 to 300 megahertz increase here and this should definitely make these new cpus perform better in any game you throw at it anyway what do you think about AMD doing these refreshes let me know in the comments below with that said let's look at the full specs so the ryzen 9 3900 xt will feature 12 cores and 24 threads the ryzen 7 3800 xt will feature 8 cores and 16 threads while the ryzen 5 3600 xt will feature 6 cores and 12 threads and from the look of things each processor is getting a big boost in terms of clock speeds and this is basically to counter intel's comet lake cpus released just a few days ago and if you're curious how comet lake stand against a 30 and ryzen you find a video linked up down below that covers the performance difference between a comet lake and 30 and ryzen anyway the ryzen 9 3900 xt is suggested to feature a base clock of 4.1 and a boost clock up to 4.8 and this is single core a boost clock guys I should say that and not all core boosts which is important to have in mind and in comparison the Ryzen 9 3900X has a base clock of 3.8 and a boost clock of 4.6 but let's keep going so the Ryzen 7 3800XT will offer a base clock of 4.2 and a boost clock of 4.7 and stand against its older brother the 3800X we see that AMD has bumped up the frequencies quite a lot here so we got 300 megahertz Hertz increase for the base clock so up from 3.9 up to 4.2 now and as for the older x model we had a boost frequency of 4.5 so essentially we got 200 megahertz increase here finally we got ryzen 5 3600 xt and this will offer 4 gigahertz base and 4.7 gigahertz boost and this is again a nice boost in clock speed uh, stand against the ryzen 5 3600 x now given that sand 2 and 30 and ryzen has a much better ipc stand against Intel's Comet Lake which is still stuck on the Skylake architecture. This new Matisse refresh processors should perform fantastic in games where IPC and high clock speed has proven a time and time again to be an important metric for high frame rate. And guys it turns out we actually got some performance results for the 3900 XT as well as the 3800 XT as well where both have been tested in 3D Mark. But the leak comes from Tomapisak and Rogue Game and both of which are pretty well known at this point they have been posting lots of leaks in the past turning out to be legitimate information so with that in mind let's look at the results we can see that the 3900 xd one being tested apparently has a base frequency of 3.8 gigahertz and a boost of 4.673 gigahertz and this gives the 3900 xd 3900 172 points in 3d mark in the physics test in comparison guys a ryzen 9 3900 x typically scores around 29,340 points in the same test. Now the 3800 XT is spotted with a base frequency of 3.9 and a boost clock of 4.623 and this results in 25,135 points in 3D mark which does seem a bit low to me considering a Ryzen 7 3700X typically scores 24k points in the same test. With that said it should be noted that it is not clear whether you know these tested processors are engineering samples or whether they are final retail products until we know the answer that i think it's important to have in mind that there might be room here for better performance let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what we do know is that we know that both were paired with 16 gigabytes of ddr4 uh, which were clocked at 3.732 megahertz and this is slightly higher than the 3600 megahertz supported by the predecessors again the clock speeds on the processors spotted in the 3d marks are slightly lower Lower compared to those that we looked at in the beginning of the video so that is a bit weird I guess before we get the official numbers from AMD we have to take these leaks with a grain of salt that all said we should expect to see these processors being able to clock higher and I expect to see at least 200 megahertz clock increase for the XT models and that should definitely be attainable on the SAN 2 architecture that is my two cents but obviously I want to know what you think in terms of release date right 
Horizon. Matisse Refresh expected to be unveiled on June 16th and it should be available on July 7th. Now in terms of pricing, according to leaks in the past, they should be priced similar to the older siblings. Now in case you're curious about the 40 Horizon and what Sand 3 will bring to the table, I actually made a video covering everything you need to know about uh, these processors as well and you find that video linked up down below. Now in the meantime guys, what do you think about Matisse Refresh? Sound off in the comments. Now watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.